Hey guys and welcome back. I just got started on making something. So what you're going to need is a can of whatever saw baked beans that you want. You're also going to need an extra can of just regular pork and beans. Grab you some hot dogs. Give it a little slice in here. Now normally I would show you guys step by step, but I think you guys can figure out how to open a can without me. So, you know, that's kind of where we're at. And I'm going to move my phone so you guys don't have to see my tracker of how many calories I took in today, how many steps I've done. You know what I mean? So, depending on how many hot dogs you want to put in here, depends on you. Um, this would probably make about, I would say, at least eight servings. Uh, and I'm counting servings as like a cup per person. So, if you eat more than a cup, it'll probably be less. You'll probably be looking about four portions, maybe depending on you and your family's needs. So right now in the kitchen, I've got the hubby making some cornbread that is has honey in it. So basically what this is like it's going to be is imagine, you know, the classic campfire fucking baked beans and then you're mixing it almost with the fairground style corn dogs. And this is a quick and easy meal that you can do to keep people off your back. And it takes less than maybe 30 minutes. That's with cutting, putting everything in, heating it up, and everything else. Now, depending on how you like your cornbread, if you like it a little bit crispy or whatever, you can also do this in a cast iron pan if you want to, since you know that you're going to be making cornbread with it. Um, just kind of depends on what your side is, you know what I mean? So... It's a good little thing. You can add seasonings into here if you want to, just to add a different te taste and texture. But I'm going to be adding something else, and you can just put that over here on the side. There's going to be a spoon in it, so you can... No, I don't need that. You well, don't need it? No, I shouldn't need it. So what you're going to do is once you get all these mixed in, like I told you, it's like that campfire basic weenies, weenies. In a can, you know what I mean? Every bite. I'm probably going to go ahead and finish off the pack um, just to make it enough. My daughter is holding the pug in the background, so that's what you're hearing. Sound like it's dying. But it's going to be really good. Like, it just kind of came to me, and I'm like, I want to try it. So tomorrow, I shouldn't have to cook unless this goes really well. And then I might have to cook, but we'll, sh we'll see. Now, another thing that you could probably do with this as well, which I thought about doing, I was like, ah, let's just stick to the classic. You could probably put meatballs in this. Like, just regular beef meatballs, not like with Italian seasoning or anything like that. You know what I mean? Just some plain Jane meatballs. You could get them in a frozen section if you don't got time to make your own. You know what I mean? That kind of thing. So, you want to mix these in here really well. Then what you want to do is I got a barbecue sauce. This is just a generic... Uh, Berman's original barbecue sauce. I can't open it because I got hot dog hands, so give me one second while yeah. off camera somebody opens it. You greased it up. I did. <laughs> More like watered it up. So what you're going to do is you're going to shake it and then you're going to go like that. So you're going to get that barbecue flavor. Now one thing that you could do to kind of get that smokiness is you could add some smoked paprika or some smoke flavoring into it that would be good if you had some onion flakes which i think by me mentioning it i'll get some onion flakes this way you know what i mean <coughs> Ooh, excuse me oh no do you ever do that it's like such a dad move but so worth it. So, here, pass that so we do got liquid smoke. If you can see it. Don't drop it in. Don't drop it Let's in. See if I can show it to him. There it is. Put a little bit of liquid smoke, if you would. This comes out fast, by the way. That's good. There you go. Just enough to give it that smoky, camping in the woods kind of flavor. You know what I mean? Plus, it makes it smell so good. Little bit of onion powder. Nah, I don't need garlic. Unless you want garlic in it. 
That's the thing with seasonings. When it comes to seasonings, it's all about you and your taste, you know? Like, I don't get fancy, too fancy with my seasonings. I feel like it's a personal kind of preference thing of what you like. I think it's going to be really good, too. All right. So, I'm going to go ahead and move this to someone off camera. Got it. And then you're going to bring me one of my spatulas. Sure. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and take Jeffy Mix. Just follow the box instructions. You don't have to get fancy with it unless you want to get fancy with it, but I'm not getting fancy with it. It's just cornbread. You know what I mean? Sweet, good, honey-infused cornbread. So, we're going to go ahead and take this and get it going on top like so. It will. And when you think it won't cover it, it'll cover it. And it will actually seep down into it. So, that's what it looks like. It looks questionable, I know, but all this is going to bake and it's going to get real fluff. So give me a second, I'll be right back, and then you guys get to see it. As far as baking instructions, follow what it says for the cornbread. Always key. Be right back. So, when this, do you mind? So, when this gets done, that's what you're looking at. And if you don't have that sound, then you didn't do it right. Give me a second, we'll go ahead and put this in a bowl, and then we're going to do the taste test. So, when it's done, you got this right here. And the taste of the test. Mm. Is it good? Really good. Mm. Sweetness, smokiness, and then you get a hint of barbecue flavor. Bang. 